In past videos, I showed you how to use uh, tools like Xenity and K Dialog and Send Notify to do simple little dialog boxes with your Bash scripts. But did you know you can make more advanced uh, GUIs using Bash scripts, uh, such as this one here? Uh, it's a simple little music player I made uh, that has different features as far as going back and forth and pausing music and changing the volume of the music. Well, this series of tutorials is going to show you how you can simply make not, uh, you know, more advanced GUIs. Um, there, there are some limitations, but let's dive in and I'll show you how I did this. Um, what I, the tool that I used under programming here uh, is called the Glade Interface Designer. Now this application is normally used to design GUIs for uh, Python language or C++, but I found a few months ago that you can actually make uh, Bash uh, interfaces with it. Um, as I said, there are some limitations that we'll get into later, but let's go in. Uh, I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on this new window. We create a window. Now if you've never worked with a uh, interface designer like this, uh, which if you mostly do bash scripts you probably haven't um, you need to put containers in here because right now the windows it can only hold one object so if we add a button that's all that's going to be in there so what we're going to add is we are going to add a horizontal box we're going to click there click there and we want two items so we're going to split it into two boxes here uh, and now i'm going to add a vertical box here and I'm going to create 11 vertical boxes, not 100, 11 vertical boxes here. And on this side, I'm going to add, uh, and I'm going to make two vertical boxes. And I'm just dividing up the screen here into where I'm going to have my buttons. And I'm going to add five buttons right there. Well, five right now containers. Uh, now I'm going to add a label. Click label, and I'm going to click in this top. Uh, container here and we've added a label. I'm going to uh, label that label volume because that's where our volume control is going to be over here to the side. Now uh, if we look at buttons here I'm going to add a button and I'm just going to add buttons to each one of these spots here. And each one of these, in this case, although you can make these do whatever you want, are going to be a uh, different level of volume, going uh, at 10% from 10 to 100% in volume. So I'm going to choose uh, the top one there. I'm going to relabel it 100% because that's what that button will do. And then uh, over here, I'm going to add some buttons to these containers. and I'm going to start labeling them but I'm not going to just label them what I'm going to do is I am going to choose uh, this button and instead of here where it says edit type I'm going to choose stock and what that does it let me choose from a stock of pre-made buttons uh, that are available on your system and I am going to go that's going to be our previous button so I'm going to come down here to previous and it adds the word previous with a little previous icon there. Uh, I'm going to make this one a play pause button, so I'm going to stock. I'm going to choose a stock button, and I'm going to go down. These are all alphabetical, and I'm going to go to play. And I'm going to make this one stock button, and we're going to make it a next. So we're going to go down to next. And uh, so now, uh, I don't want this video to be too long, so before I'm going to go any further, this is going to be the end of this first tutorial, but what I want you to do is go in and relabel each one of these uh, buttons uh, as you would to the percentage, and I'll start from there in the next video. Uh, hope you're enjoying this tutorial, and I'll have the next one soon.